Creating a mega menu or a multi-column menu in a WordPress website has always required a third-party plugin that may or may not work with your website theme, or and it's just very hard to configure sometimes. But Astra has just released an update to their Pro module that allows you to go ahead and implement a mega menu into your site using Astra, and it and it just works. That's that's just the great thing about it is it just works. So let's go ahead and dive right in on how to do this. I have my dashboard right here and I have the plugin Astra Pro installed as you can see right here. So let's navigate to the front end of our website and we're going to see what we have. We have our website right here. We have our menu up here, and as you see, as I hover over everything, there's nothing that drops down. What we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of mega menus under our staff and services, just so that we can get a look and feel of what we want to do. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can add a mega menu to your site, and we're going to go ahead and cover those in this video. So what you're going to want to do is navigate to Appearance, Menus. And we're going to go and navigate to primary menu, which is the one that we're going to be working on. And you'll see the services and the R staff. So let's go ahead and add a mega menu under our staff. In order to do so, what we're going to do is go to Astra options, go down to nav menu and activate this. Let's go back to the appearance and menus. Click on the drop down for our staff and you'll see that we have a new button called Astra Menu Settings. Let's click on that. All right, we're prompted with a few different items so we can enable the mega menu and we have highlight labels. Now, what are highlight labels? I'll go ahead back to this right here and we have the highlight label right here that says popular, new, right here, just as you see the purple and the pink. These allow you to, maybe you could just add a menu item to your menu and if it's a new menu you can add it there or if you want to have like a sub section to the menu you can use this uh, highlight label to go ahead and do that so we're not going to worry too much about that but it is a great addition to the update what we're going to do is enable mega menu and when we do that we get prompted with a lot of options okay now some of these are what you're going to think is these aren't going to apply to the primary, they're going to apply to the secondary header, the sub menu. So the mega menu width, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reference this for quite some time. Now, what we're talking about here is the actual width of the entire sub menu, this entire rectangle, okay? So when we click on this, we have three options, content, menu container width, and full. Now the content is just going to do from the content from the left side to the right side of your site, the menu width is going to do from the left part of your menu to the right part of your menu. And then full width is going to do full width of the entire site all the way from left to right on your screen. Normally you're just going to go ahead and just keep it as content. Now the background color and image, you're able to go ahead and add a color to your background or you can do an image and then you have all of your image options for repeating your size and your position. We'll go over that in just a bit as well. Override colors for this mega menu. So if you want this to the text link to be a different color than the other ones in your top level, then you can go ahead and use these options to change that. And of course we have that highlight labels here. So we have our content and I want it to be that wide. So let's save. And we're gonna go ahead and add a sub level menu under here. I'm gonna to go to custom links and add a basic one here. Now, just because I'm going to have and use maybe an Elementor template, I don't really have to have a specific menu item underneath of here, and I'll show you why. All right, we have this. Let's go to the Astro menu settings for this one. And we're prompted with some new sub-level items. So for the mega menu, we can make this menu as a column heading. And if we refer back to here, we have our column headings right here, the business pages, agency pages, utility, and special pages. Those are the column headings. Now, what we can also do is we can hide the menu label and description and disable the link. Now, this is great if you're going to insert an Elementor page template right inside of your sub menu, mega menu. 
So that's great if you want to do this. And we're going to go ahead and do that as well. You have content source. So you have default, which is going to be pulling from the menus that you make underneath of the appearance and then menus. Custom text, which allows you to use short codes and anything like that you can insert there. So you can integrate third party items with your sub menu, mega menu. Template. So we can go here and search for pages, posts, templates, all of that good stuff. We can go ahead and add those. And then a widget. If we want, we can go ahead and add any widget that we want to here. So uh, pages, we can do an archives, recent posts, all of that good stuff. For this video, we're going to use template. Now, I don't have any templates here, so we're going to go ahead and make one. Let's save this temporarily. And let's go to Elementor, My Templates. Let's save this first. Elementor, My Templates. All right, so we have all of these templates here that came with um, the Astra Pro site. So we're going to go ahead and view this one to see if it's the one we want. So we have this services right here. If we go to services part one, we'll see that we have the services part one as well. So there's different ones that we can choose from and we have these services as well. So for this one, our menu is gonna be under the R staff. So we're just gonna create a new one, make it a section R staff mega menu and create. Now, once it's created, we're just going to insert a template just from Elementor, just so we can go ahead and for the sake of the video, we'll scroll down. Let's see what we like. We'll go ahead and insert one of these. Here's our team section. Uh, let's do this one right here. So we're in inserting in this. And now this is going to show up under the mega menu. So if you want to, you can actually go ahead and start linking these different image boxes to the person's profile. And they're gonna retain their links once they're underneath of the R, R staff section. So let's go ahead and publish this. Let's go back to our dashboard under appearance and menus and sub level service. All right, so we have this. Let's go back to our, not, our menu, menu options and we have it under content for the template. So let's go ahead and type in um, staff, our staff mega menu and click save. Now remember we wanna hide the menu label and description and we'll just, and then we'll have that so that it does not show our title for the mega menu. Let's go ahead and save the menu here. And let's take a look at what we've got. All right, so we have the R staff right here above my mouse. And if we hover over top of it, we get our three team members that we added in our Elementor page builder template. So we have this, and like I said, if you had these linked to a page, then when you hover over top of them, then you can actually click on them and go to a link. Let's do the services. We're gonna go back to menu and we're gonna add a new services services sub drive that underneath of services and we're going to make the services astro menu settings enable the mega menu save then we're going to custom link astro menu settings we want to go ahead and turn that off and make the content source be let's do the custom text and i'll show you guys how we can insert something via the custom text all right, let's go ahead and save this. We're gonna to go to Elementor Templates. Let's do a new template, our section. And this is gonna be the Services Mega Menu. Let's create the template. Let's go to the blocks, go under Services, and we have all of our great looking services that Elementor has given us. So we can just go ahead and choose one. Let's just choose this first one. And let's publish this. 
All right, from here, we're going to save this menu and we're going to refresh real quick. All right, underneath of the services sub, click on the Astra menu settings, the custom text. And from there, we can actually copy and paste the short code under the My Templates and Service Mega Menu. Let's copy and paste this short code so you guys can see how that works. We're going to paste that right there and click Save. Let's go back to our home page and refresh. Under Services, now we have our template right here for the Elementor Page Builder template that we have. Now, of course, you're going to want to adjust all of the padding so you don't have so much top padding and bottom padding, which inside of this Mega Menu um, services, we have a lot of padding on the top and bottom. So let's get rid of this. And get rid of that and update. Let's refresh. All right, so there we go. Now that it looks a little bit more clean and there's not so much going on with it. And we have that looking great right there. Now, what we want to do is let's go ahead and maybe show what this looks like on mobile because that's the big question is what's it going to look like on mobile? Let's go to our customizer. We're going to go and navigate to tablet view and view our mobile menu. We have the R staff and our services. So let's drop down on the services and we have those here. And what we'll do is we'll drop down on the, our staff and we'll show that right here. So it looks great on mobile and desktop view. Alrighty. So whatever you have designed for this on mobile and tablet, because you can edit that right here underneath of the responsive mode, whatever this is, it's whatever it's going to show. So if it's all left aligned, you can go ahead and do that. You can always just center align this and then have it so that it's copy and pasted throughout the entire icons so that they're all uniform. All right, so let's go ahead and add a background to our services menu, just so we have a little bit of uh, depth to our look. Let's go ahead and navigate to appearance and menus. Under services, we're going to click on that and go to Astra menu settings. And from here, we have our background color image and all of our options. So let me show you the color real quick. So let's add a light blue and save. Let's preview what this looks like. Services, we have our light blue transparent. Let's make that a little bit more solid from here. Let's go do that. Refresh services and we have our solid background right here. Now if you're not a fan of colors then you can go ahead and choose an image. So let's do that as well. So we want to get rid of this color. Let's do a background image here. And we have plenty of our background images that we were testing earlier. So let's go ahead and add one here. Let's use the wooden background. We have the repeat. So I want this to repeat all because this is a pattern. We're going to auto the background size and I'm just going to center center this and save and save. Refresh the page services. We have all of this. And of course, if you're going to add a background image, you're going to want to change your text based on what background image color you have. So obviously we would change all of this to white so that we have um, it be more visible to your clients and customers. And of course, we can add some padding inside of the Elementor page template so that we can have a little bit more padding on the bottom. But overall, everything will work together seamlessly once you go ahead and, and get your settings correct. Now let me show you a little bit about the highlight label and that is this highlight label right here. So let's go ahead and go over to your menu options and your services, Astra menu settings, scroll to the bottom and we have our label. So we'll go to new and we'll do the label color as white and we'll do the background color as red and click save and save again. 
Let's refresh our page. And we have our brand new highlight label right there. So it show, if you kind of like go to a website and you own a WooCommerce site or e-commerce site and you see that they have new items or sale items, they'll have that sale or new tag on it. Basically the exact same thing except you're putting it in your, in your nav menu. So you can show them if you have a new service. Um, you can list it under services and if you have a drop down, you can go ahead and just say, hey, new service, check it out. Something along those lines. So it's a great little feature that they added to the site so that you can go ahead and show your customers when you have new services or new items or things of that nature. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like button and we will see you next time.